Good day. Welcome to King Williams Everything. Today we're going to take a look at chip pulling. Uh, every now and then, you know, you need to either you want to pull a ROM out, say like this guy here, and update it or swap the ROM out with a new version, or say you have one of these chips have failed that are in a socket, and you want to get them out and replace them. And this works for, you know, like only for socketed chips. Or say, let's say like this is a, here's a Z80 processor. Wait, yeah, here this is the Z80 processor. You want to save this for another board. Um, you can get this out really easy. And what you want to do is you want to use a chip puller. This one is a, a bow and tool. Oh, bow. WJ368. New. I'm not sure how new. I had this for quite a few years. It seems like every time I need it, I end up I can't find it. But it's um, uh, WJ368 PLCC Extractor. The spring extract design, especially for removing PLCC from sockets without damaging components. And that's what it does. This one is new from uh, 9 2011. So I've had it for a few years, and I use it once in a while. Uh, and there's a couple of methods you can do to get chips out if you want to take like a little screwdriver, just stick it under there and do a little twist and a little twist and pop it out. Uh, problem I've seen with that, a lot of people, what they'll do is stick a little screwdriver in there and they'll pry it up and underneath this chip are little traces and they'll nick the trace, put the new chip in and it don't work. Um, so just to avoid damage, it's nice to have something like this. These are everywhere, Amazon, um, eBay, couple bucks, Max. This is just the absolute simplest one you can get. Look at me spin it. But basically what you do is... It's, you grab on Mr. Chip and pull, and you can kind of see it's kind of springy, so it uh, kind of lifts the chip up for you. But we'll do one really simple one. Let's do a little one here. How about this guy right here? Uh, and you kind of see, it's hard, uh, there's like a little, uh, you know, like a little notch under here you can grab it with. There's also a little notch in the socket, so you don't want to just reach in there and clamp on and start tugging because you're pulling on the socket. And we don't want to take the socket off unless you want to resolder a socket. But uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, like I said, you just want to make sure when you clamp on, you're not on the socket, but you're actually on the chip. So we're going to kind of be careful. I can see I'm on the chip. I'm on the chip. Or am I on the chip? No. It's hard to do it when you're behind a camera. And you give it a little, little twisty roo, and voila, she's out of the socket. And I already see what's wrong with this chip. Let's see. Aha. You can see, oh, Mr. Pin right here is bent over. So I guess that's probably why this guy's not working. Maybe somebody's been in here before and playing around. So what we'll do, we'll take that little leg, we'll straighten him out and see if she still works, but... I was pretty sure it was one of these guys, because these guys, I think this one, this was the one that was getting like red hot. So must have been it was either bad or maybe it was bad. Somebody reseeded it, and it's still bad. And when they reseeded it, uh, they smushed the leg. So we can hopefully fix that. If not, we'll have to get a new chip. But I think we got her. So anyway, that's basically what you do. You know, you uh, like all these chips are socketed. Or pretty much all these guys. This is the one I'm really <clears throat> interested in. Uh, but just to show you, I know this guy was getting hot, so that's why I wanted to back him up and get some uh, information off him in case this guy died, and I can find another board. And without this chip or with a different version of it, I can fix it. But uh, you know, basically, uh, let's see, this is a nice big one, and uh, kind of blocking all the light for you. And grab it on, give her a little twisteroo, and pop her out. It's that simple. So that's all this is. Nice, easy little chip puller. Now you can do the old method, you know, with the little screwdriver and pry if you're careful. If you do it enough, that's not a big deal. Um, I kind of prefer this. Although I had when I pulled it on, I flew the hook, the chip off somewhere. But you know, if you're careful, uh, this comes in handy. You always use the right tool for the right job. And if you're going to do more than one of these, it's a good investment. Throw in an electronics drawer. And um, then you're set for a, for a long time. This should last you your entire life. But uh, anyway, we'll fix this chip if we can. Hopefully, we won't break the little the little leg. I can do it with my fingers because I'll break the leg off. But um, I'm guessing this guy is bad. That's why it's 
uh, got a bent leg now. So, anyway, I thought I'd just kind of show you the Abu, Abu and Tool. New. So, anyway, have yourself a wonderful day.